to see uh, clearly. And um, please don't write on it. It should only be me to write on the screen. Okay, uh, my name is Bumba Patrick, and uh, this is Senior. I'm going to introduce you to this subject. Okay, I'm going to introduce to you this subject called biology. And um, we have biology, uh, it comes from bios and then logos, meaning life and logos meaning uh, this subject but of course the subject we are going to make you understand what life is all about um it is not you may you may not uh, take it to be the usual the usual life which you know of waking up in the morning brushing the teeth and then you shower you eat food the your daily routine now, this is beyond you as a human being, because when we are learning about life, we're actually looking at the entire world. Not only people, we are looking at plants. We are going to look at the organisms in the ocean. We look at uh, organisms in the forests. We look at organisms uh, in the sky, in the soil, in our body. Okay, so all living things, what, whatever thing that has life in it, we call it an organism. We call it an organism. Whether it is a plant, whether it is a bacteria, whether it is a, a dog, a cat, they're all living organisms. And that is what biology tells us, that biology is the study of life. Biology is the study of life. And um, biology has very really lead into you having a special career in your life. Okay, um, biology is a subject which can lead you to very many uh, aspects of life. If you are concentrating in the different branches of biology, as we are going to see, there are very many different aspects. Just know it is all about life. Life. And um, this life is very much, I don't want to say that it is complicated, but um, for a very long time, uh, since way back before even Jesus Christ was born, before Jesus Christ was born, uh, in, 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 in those years, people have been learning about life and they have been looking at different processes. Now, for us, we are going to first understand the different branches of biology. Then from the different branches of biology, we shall study the characteristics of life. Uh, branch one, you can see, is all about uh, studying plants. So with uh, botany, it's a, it's a study of plants. And actually, uh, if you're learning, if you finish, let's say, uh, form four, then form six, you can specialize in botany. That is study of plants. And uh, it has very many career, career paths that you can take on. You can see these students, uh, we are learning about plants. So when you're learning about these plants, you can know how they behave, you can know how they grow, you can know even the chemical contents in their leaves, the chemical contents in their leaves. I think you've heard of, um, uh, right now- She am not hearing. Uh, prof mm -hmm. There's a professor. Okay, um, I hope I hope everyone is able to hear. Are you, can you be able to hear me yes. now? Yes. Okay. Yes. Uh, no. Yes. Uh, maybe for, make sure that you are somewhere where there is some good network. Make sure that you are somewhere where there is some good network. Uh, okay, I hope each one of you can be able to, to hear me well. Yes. Okay, uh, that's good. So I was still telling you that uh, these plants have very many functions. They have very many uses. So you must study them in detail. I was still telling that you've just heard of um, 
a professor who discovered that drug which is being rolled out in Uganda, which is Covidex. He had to study uh, the chemical contents in some of these local local herbs that we have on market. And he was able to know such contents because of this branch of biology, which is botany. You can also uh, decide to study zoology. You can see uh, this guy here uh, hugging this animal here. Now, zoology is like the word zoo. I think most of you are going to this. Zoo. zoo. Yes. When you go to the zoo, what do you see there? Yes. You just... Right. When you are at the zoo, you actually uh, go to see animals mostly. Mm -hmm. G is the study of animals. That's very good. And um, there are very many different um, uh, uh, gorilla called the human being. So all these ones are actually animals. And when we are learning about this, we actually do study all these organisms. And then uh, another branch of biology is anatomy. Anatomy, I don't know, I think this could be the first time you're meeting uh, this word for some of you, but it is a study of the structure of living things. And I repeat, it is a study of the structure of living things. What do I mean by the structure? With body structure, uh, with structure, it can meet the whole entire body, like muscles. You can see here this guy with all these muscles. So in anatomy, you can actually count all the muscles which are in someone's body. Like each one of you have your own body and the muscles which you have are actually were counted a long time ago by those scientists. You can be able to count the number of bones in your body when you're counting them and you can know actually the location of each bone you can know the function of each bone and uh, when it gets a problem what how are you affected or you can even know the body organs they are structures like if you can look at this guy here uh, <clears throat> normally here in this uh, upper part where which we call normally the chest this is where we find the rib cage. Now, behind the rib cage, you have the, the lungs. They're the ones that <clears throat> enable you to breathe. Now, uh, in between the rib cage, you have uh, a breastbone called sternum. Now, behind the breastbone, you have a heart. You have a heart. Then from your, where your ribs end, that's where your liver starts. And then you have the kidneys towards the backside and then you have the intestines. So with anatomy, you are able to understand the structure of each organ and in detail, you are able to study the, the different blood vessels which are in your body. And all these are uh, important things. I think you've heard of people carrying out organ transplants. Now you can actually specialize when you become a doctor uh, in a particular organ. You can specialize, let's say, to work on uh, uh, these uh, uh, organs within the gut. Or you, you find a doctor and they only treat diseases to do with the, uh, with the intestine, stomach, and the colon. Only that. So you must understand anatomy in detail. So those are the people who normally do surgeries. Okay. Uh, but anatomy does not only stop on humans. Like you can see, the, I gave I only gave you pictures of humans here. No, you can also do anatomy of a cow. You can go uh, get your chicken at home, and then you study it in detail. We do anatomy of the rats. We do anatomy of the insects. We do anatomy of uh, every living organism. Like we must study it in detail because at one time we benefit. We benefit from, 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 from them, from knowing them. Uh, let me give you an example. Um, uh, normally when people are discover, uh, discovering drugs, 
uh, they don't get the drug and inject it in the human being at once. No? They may first inject it in rats. I'm assuming you are having a rat here. Okay. So you find that you find that uh, please mute. Someone who is saying, Can you please mute? Can you please mute? Uh, when when you are somewhere with your colleagues, please mute, 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 turn off your microphone. I'm seeing Rosetta mute. I'm seeing Jason Kalinaki Agaba. Please, you all mute. Shadi sounds mute. Okay. I was still telling you. I was still telling you that. Um, the rat, they, they are going to rat. And the reason is the anatomy of the rat is very much you first test it on cockroaches. I think you can see how. Um, then, can you please mute? Okay. Um, then we can go to another branch, which is uh, nutrition. <laughs> nutrition, we are studying about food. We are studying about food and how living things feed. You can see here in picture one, uh, this is a, uh, uh, what do you think uh, this animal is? Which animal is this? A chameleon. Uh -huh, thank chameleon. you very much. A yes. chameleon. Yes, this is a chameleon. And you can chameleon. see it, it was sticking out its tongue. It was sticking out its tongue, trying to eat this insect here. Now, you know that a chameleon has a very long tongue. It can fold and then it can, the, this is tongue can feed on it, okay? And then uh, also food and nutrition, we shall study uh, the different uh, types of food that we normally eat. We shall also study the food nutrients like you can see here, this is a piece of meat and uh, we shall study which kind of nutrients are in this piece of meat and how do those nutrients benefit our body. We shall also study, you can see the, these are uh, peas in Luganda, they are called kawo, for some of you understand Luganda, but peas, we shall study the kind of food nutrient in the peas and how do they benefit our body. This is matoke, uh, bananas, mashed bananas, uh, commonly known as matoke. So we shall also study this matoke or this uh, Irish. Which kind of food nutrient is found in this Irish? And how does it benefit us? And when we don't eat it, how are we affected? All these are studied under nutrition. This is a chapati. These are greens and these are genuts. This is water. Also water. We shall have to study about water under nutrition because it is also a mineral nutrient, okay? And, and then uh, every type of food, this is katogo, this is avocado. So we shall be studying all these. And where do we get them from? Where do we get them from? And how are they grown? From which plants? And what are the structures of their plants? Oh, then uh, you can see here in picture four, a picture of trying to feed. This is a man trying to feed a, a, feed a baby. And you can see the baby is, suck, uh, is suckling uh, the, the milk in this bottle. So which kind of nutrient is found in milk? Why is it that we should give uh, babies milk and not cassava? Have you ever seen at your home when... Uh, the mom or dad is giving cassava to the baby. Why do they give uh, the baby milk and not cassava or not? Uh, so we shall have to study those food nutrients and why? Why, why, is, why is the kind of feeding pattern like that? And once you don't give this baby milk, what happens? How do they grow? So all those things are studied under nutrition, which is a study of food. 
and how living uh, things feed. And it's not only humans, no. We shall study all animals, cats, dogs, chameleons, even plants. How do plants feed? Do you know that plants also feed those under, under nutrition? Then uh, there's another branch um, called physiology. Physiology, uh, I, I don't know whether you've heard of uh, the word physicals. I think when you're going for PE, when your primary school used to go for PE, which is physical education. So when you're learning about physiology, you're learning about how the body works in the internal uh, structures and how they work. How does the body work? For example, in the head, you have the brain. How does it work? How does the brain uh, interpret messages? How do uh, the messages reach the brain? All that is under physiology. Now in your um, bones, uh, you have bone marrows where uh, blood cells are made. How are blood cells made? How do they work? You have blood vessels, how do they work? Uh, if you are a, um, a female, you have the ovary. How does the ovary work? And how, uh, they, how do the reproductive structures work? Or the skeleton, how does the skeleton work? Why is it that you can be able to run and run, but some people can't run and to, to your standard? So all that is all under how the body works. The heart, how, how does it pump blood? How is blood circulated or the intestines? How do the intestines uh, digest food? Or for example, uh, please mute. Um, I'm seeing Patrick, Trevon, Galaxy, J2. You have refused to mute and you are disorganizing. Please mute. Uh, Junju Pius, you have a question? Uh, when you raise your hand, it means you have a question. I'm seeing Junju Pius, you have a question as well as Galaxy Tab A. You have a question. Can you please ask? We'll begin with Junju. Okay, they are not, uh, I'm seeing uh, Namato Fausta. Fausta, do you have a question? I'm seeing your hand up. Fausta, yes. do you have a question? Yes. Please, it's not fashion to, uh, yes, please, ask Fausta. Yes, please. Teacher, is it right yes. if I say feeding instead of nutrition? Okay, thank you uh, uh, for our that question. That is, under, um, that is under nutrition. Yes, that is correct. You can either call it uh, nutrition or you can call it uh, feeding. So uh, if you have your nuts and you called it feeding, it's not wrong. But uh, we normally like using this word called uh, nutrition. To, to generalize, because if you are looking at plants, they, you, like it wouldn't be good to say that how does a plant feed, but uh, if you say how does a plant obtain nutrients from nutrition, there it makes more sense. That's why we normally like using the word nutrition rather than feeding. But if you stroke feeding, that is okay. It has no problem. Thank you for that question. Um, uh -huh. Yes, is there any other question? If I continue. Yes, Junju, or you have a question? Uh, if you have no question, you please uh, turn, put down the hand. Yes, Philip or Jock. Excuse me, teacher. Why isn't yes, it please. proper? To give a baby cassava. Okay, thank you for that uh, question, um, Philip. Okay, uh, uh, you had uh, um, Philip's question that why isn't it proper to give this baby cassava? Why? Okay, um, the thing is, uh, when a baby has been born, 
uh, they have inside them, they have enzymes that are supposed to break down the food. And that food, once it has been broken down by the enzymes, it is absorbed by the body so that it can go to the brain, to the heart, to the body organs for the baby to grow. Now, uh, when, uh, when you give a baby cassava, there are structures which uh, the baby must possess to be able to extract the nutrients which are in this cassava. And one of the structures are teeth. You need the teeth to crush, to chew, to grind the food into small particles that can easily interact with the enzymes inside the mouth as well as in the intestines. Now, at this stage, the baby does not have the teeth to chew, to grind, to, to break down uh, this cassava into small particles to, that can interact with the enzyme. Secondly, uh, this baby, uh, the, the baby's enzymes have not yet fully developed. His, his body, the intestines, have not yet started uh, producing the proper enzymes to break down this complex starch found in cassava. Because under nutrition, we shall say that um, that the major food nutrient in cassava is starch. Now you need an enzyme called amylase to break down that cassava into glucose, which really has an, an enzyme called renin, uh, which is going to actually break down the proteins, coagulating the, the, the milk casein within the milk, you see? So uh, they have not yet actually fully developed those uh, structures to break down this food properly. That's why it's not proper. It's not proper. Thank you for that question. Um, I think we can go to the next slide. I hope there are no more questions. Yes, okay. And then, uh, okay, yes. I was still telling you that, um, yes, these intestines, we study how they do it, how they're able to produce the enzymes, and then also the kidney, this is the structure of the kidney. How does the kidney, how is the kidney able to, to filter? For example, someone drinks passion fruit juice, which is yellow, or you take milk, which is white, or you take soda, which is black, and you, you read it something which is kind of uh, colorless. Why? Why is it that when you drink yellow passion fruit juice, you don't urinate yellow passion fruit juice? You actually urinate something like, that's like water. Or when you drink milk, you don't urinate milk. You urinate something that's like water. Why? So we all study all those things under physiology. The next is ecology. Uh, ecology is the study of how organisms are related to the environment. Now, this environment is big. Uh, think of, of, of yourself. Which one is your environment? Probably you are surrounded by walls, uh, people, uh, small, small animals like cats, dogs, and the small, small plants. But it doesn't stop on only you, but ecology looks at the fish, which is in water. It, ecology looks at a bear, which is in the forest. Ecology looks at even the bacteria which are in your hands. Do you know that you have bacteria in your hands? You have bacteria in your mouth? You have bacteria in your intestines. So bacteria looks at all living organisms and where they stay. All living organisms and where they stay and how they, uh, they interact with their environment. It is so much important. Uh, you, you're going to know how those factors, like for example, how does the sunlight affect uh, how these plants grow? How does, uh, let's say, rain affect how these plants grow? All those ones are taught under ecology. So with ecology, it's about studying uh, organisms and how they interact with their surrounding or their environment. Okay. Uh, I'm seeing Galaxy Tab A. You have a, your hand up. You can ask your question, please. Sir. 
Yes, Galaxy Tab A, you have your hand up. You may unmute and you ask the question. Um, can yes, we call please. surroundings? Can we call envir can we call surrounding an environment also? We are listening, please ask. Um, can we call environment same as can we call environment um also a surrounding? Yes. Okay. Okay. Thank you for that question. Thank you for that question. Can we call surrounding? Okay. Thank you for that question. I think you've heard that. Can we call environment? Can we call it surrounding? Yes, I think so. Yes. Actually, what 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 surrounding? Surrounding just it's a simple English word which means all those things which which uh, where everything you that surrounding. Angel, Angel, can you mute your microphone? Angel, mute. Okay. Um. Sorry. Sorry for that small. Sorry for that small uh, network problem. I was still telling you that. Um. I was still telling you that. Uh, there was this question. There was this question which was saying that. Um, uh, Praise said, uh, said that so physiology deals with the study of functions and processes of living organisms or their parts. Uh, it's going to be both. Praise. It's going to be both. Uh, please, Mr. Charles, or to please mute. Okay, thank you. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, um, yes, Praise was asking. So physiology deals with uh, the study of functions and processes. Yes, functions, processes, and even the parts of how and how they work. That's all physiology. Uh, then uh, Edwin says, first of all, the enzymes of the baby are not yet well developed. Okay, maybe he, um, he was talking about the other question. Then Essa is saying, what if I define physiology as the study of process and functioning of the body parts? Yes, this. Correct. You're studying process and functioning of the body parts, which simply is how the body works. Okay. Yeah. So this is very correct, uh, Esther. And then, uh, yeah. a call yes, please. As I'm not seeing anything on yes. the board. I'm not seeing anything on the board. Yes, you can ask. You can't see. Um, uh, maybe the network uh, is kind of disturbing you. Uh, you you can let me see. Uh, can you can you see now? I hope you can. Yes. I, I hope. You, okay, that's good. Okay. Um. I was I was still just going through uh, these questions a little bit faster uh so that we can all understand okay we can go to another branch remember we are looking at the branches for some of you have forgotten where we are now we began with uh, uh, 
definition for biology, which is bi uh, bios logos, study of life. And we are looking at different branches of biology. Now, another branch is bacteriology. Bacteriology is actually the study of bacteria. Now they are quite in our environment. They are quite a number and you know, and some of you have actually uh, faced the wrath. You have, you have contracted some of these bacteria and they have, you have seen how they can be dangerous. For example, there is Streptococcus pneumoniae. Now this Streptococcus pneumoniae is the one which normally causes pneumonia very common in very young babies in being susceptible to getting this uh, bacteria a child has been born they are actually vaccinated they are vaccinated against pneumonia they give them what they call a pneumococcal vaccine yeah uh, they give them a pneumococcal vaccine which uh, makes them not to get this uh, bacteria there's another bacteria which is clostridium tetani now this bacteria uh, makes people get tetanus. Still, uh, I am very sure uh, because of the policy in Uganda, each one of you here was vaccinated against this tetanus. So you were vaccinated when you were young, uh, but the only problem is that this vaccine expires after 10 years. And that's why if you are 10 years and above, uh, normally when you get a very serious cut, let's say something has cut you and they take you to the hospital, one of the things that the doctors do is to first uh, uh, give you a shot to prevent you from, from, from getting tetanus. Uh, or even pregnant women are, are, are normally vaccinated when they're about to give birth because they, they, when they are producing, they may get um, they, they, they may get a cut. Or there's also trepto, uh, treponema pallidum, there's vibrio cholera. I think you've heard of cholera uh, uh, some time back. Uh, very dangerous. There's a boil, you know, boils. Yeah, there is Clostridium botulinum, botulism, in formis. Then there's Helicobacter pylori. If you've heard of people um, complaining of, um, of ulcers. Uh, so normally people get ulcers is because of this bacteria, this bacteria, uh, Helicobacter pylori, which disorganizes uh, them inside and then they get um, ulcers. You've heard of Salmonera typhi, uh, the one which normally causes typhoid. If someone has suffered from typhoid, uh, this bacteria okay. entered your body. But, but good enough, uh, they can be able to, to treat them. They, are, they, they can be able to treat them. So we study all these bacteria, uh, so that we know how they work, we know how they reproduce, we know how um, they, they, they interact with our bodies. Another branch is virology. You can actually uh, specialize as a biologist and then you only study vi uh, virology at university. And this is about the study of viruses. Uh, what you're seeing here is the, is the virus that is actually making you to study from your phone or computer. Uh, this is the COVID-19 virus, uh, which is normally called SARS-CoV-2. Now, this virus, uh, you know that it can kill, and that's why we're actually home studying from home. It's because of this guy here with these spikes, uh, the, the, this uh, corona kind of structure. Uh, there is also uh, the polio virus. Uh, this structure of the polio virus, but for it, it normally attacks um, the nerve cells. And that's why in most cases, if someone gets polio, they become lame. Uh, but it can also uh, attack um, uh, the, the structures that, uh, that makes you to breathe. And in most cases, such people die, okay? But if it attacks the nerve cells like in the leg, so you just become lame. So all these viruses, we must study how they work, how they reproduce, how they can infect people, so under these different branches of biology, okay? And then um, we can go to uh, another branch of biology, um, which is mycology. Mycology, whenever you see the word mycology, 
just know it has to do with the fungi. So with mycology is the study of fungi and there are very many different fungi that you can't even think about. Uh, the most common fungi are the mushrooms. You can see here, uh, these mushrooms we are growing in some wet place. Uh, but we also have, um, of course, there are very many species of, 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 of fungi, of, of, of mushrooms, but these are all fungi. Then uh, we, we also have the bread mold. Bread mold is also an example of a fungi. This, these are the molds which normally attack uh, bread. The moment you leave bread somewhere for some time, it's going to go bad. And it's because of these fungi called bread mold. Uh, and then, uh, of course, there are very many species. You can see here, there are some greenish, greenish. Uh, the ones which are kind of greenish are called penicillium, okay? Uh, then these ones, uh, the brown, the gray, the gray, gray ones are called um, uh, rhizopus, stolonifer. So all those, then there's also the fruit mold. You can see here, this, this is an apple that had been attacked by the fruit mold called the muco. Hey, the spelling is M-U-C-O. That is muco, okay? So, and it doesn't only attack apples, no. It is going to attack all fruits that you know of. It will attack tomatoes, it will attack uh, ground nuts. It will attack anything like a fruit, hey, pineapples. And by the way, it is not advisable. It is Excuse me, not teacher, advisable for you to eat. Excuse me, sir. Yes, please. I will send that one. There are some there are some some students chatting, having a, a different conversation in yes, the chat please. room. I request yes, the men to remove them if they are not serious to let, let others study. Mm. There are some students who are chatting something else. Okay. In the um, chat room. There are some. Yeah. Yeah, I'm seeing, um, I'm seeing Jason Karinaki, I'm seeing uh, Trevon, I'm seeing Agen Roth. Okay, please. Uh, uh, yeah, thank you uh, very much, Charles. Thank you very much, Charles. Uh, please, only post questions in the chat room. If you have a question, uh, post a question in the chat room. Don't come in the chat room to talk about uh, other things which are not part of the subject. Oh, uh, Lenovo, the one using Lenovo was saying that, pardon for bacteriology. Okay. Um, I'll, I'll comment about it at a later time. And, then Masiko Nicholas, you have your hand up. Can you please ask? Masiko Nicholas, you have your hand up. Can you please ask your question? Rest in Nabuso, please mute. Rest in Nabuso, please mute. Yes, I'm seeing there are some hands up. Three. Can you please ask the question, question that you have? about if breast milk is yes, has more nutrition as the, as, se, as the same as normal cow milk? As does breast milk have the same if it has more as nutrients than does okay, breast uh, thank you for that question sir. Sir. okay okay sir. thank you sir. i'm going to yes please yes shadik can you sir. please ask yes please now what a... now what i'm asking you yeah, is that Mm. The pronunciation of these branches, yeah? Mm. Are they standard or like the way you just read them according to the letters they are used? They are written okay. in. Okay. Okay. Thank you for that question. Uh, I'm also going to answer that. Uh huh. Let me check one more. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Well, very right. Yes. Where a virus is not regarded as living things. Oh, 
Okay, thank you for that question, uh, Edwin. Um, okay, let me let me first answer those three. Mohammed, please mute. Let me first answer those three, and then you ask again. Let me first answer those three. I will begin with the question to do with uh, with the. Uh, yes, please, teacher, muted. Okay. Okay. Yes, teacher. Okay. So uh, let me first answer those three questions. The first question was about um, uh, breast. The first question was about uh, breast milk. Sorry. Master, excuse me. You can say, please, you can say, bye. Milk are uh, the same as. Uh, the, the nutrients which are in uh, the cow uh, the, 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 the structure the structure please Yasumin Mohammed please mute yes Yasumin Mohammed can you please mute mute in the lesson right now yes mute 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 okay yes teacher I've muted no the reason that's why I can hear you is you're not yet mute Okay, thank you. Um, let me first answer this question very fast. Now, what you must know is that um, a cow milk right. and, and breast milk uh, both contain uh, proteins, but the difference is the structure of the pro proteins in cow milk is a little bit different from the structure. Please, Biron, you don't write on the screen. Now, the structure of of, of milk, uh, breast milk and the structure of cow milk, the proteins there are a little bit different. And uh, the structure in cow milk can only be digested by the calves of cows. Now you cannot get uh, cow milk and give it to the baby direct um, because the structure is a little bit different. And that's why if you are to to, to seek out for, for consultation from Doc, please, Glenn, don't try it on the screen. Get a rubber and, and clear. Uh, you're not supposed to write on the screen. I'm, I'm the only one supposed to write on the screen. I was also telling you that um, uh, the structure is a little bit different, and that's why normally, if unfortunately, I'm assuming the, the mother of the baby passes on, you find that there is what they call formula milk, which they normally give to babies. It's a special kind of milk produced differently, which is not cow milk. So the structure is different, much as both may contain proteins, but the structure of the protein is different. And it wouldn't be good to give cow milk to the baby. That's, uh, that would be uh, very wrong. Mm. With science, most of the scientific words are actually not in, in, in English per se. They are Latin words. Excuse only. me, teacher. So uh, I would advise physiology. Yeah. Excuse me, teacher. Okay, or ecology. So you can read them in syllables, but never, yes, please. How does yes. a structure of uh, cow yes, milk affect ask. the baby? How does okay. a structure of cow milk affect the baby? Okay, thank you for that, Masiko. I was still telling you that uh, for you to take Uh, when you eat food, there are some um, there are some digested inside the stomach uh, that cow milk. The baby's enzymes cannot break down uh, that cow milk well, and most like the baby would, would have fed, but the baby will not be able to extract the nutrient that milk because uh, he may not possess the right. Uh, 
enzymes at that stage to break down uh, the, the structure of the protein, okay? So when you eat food, for example, you can eat uh, grass and you swallow it and you may not die. But that grass is not going to be broken down in your, uh, in your small intestine or in your stomach so that you can get the nutrients out of them. So you pass them out as feces. You get it. So that's, that's, that's how I can simplify it. Uh, I don't want, uh, when you are to study the structures of these things, it, that is called biochemistry. And, uh, and um, at A level, we normally study uh, the structures of proteins in more detail. But at, at this moment, you, you only need to know uh, that simple, simple uh, biology. Okay. Um, and then the other question was about uh, virus. Uh, someone was saying that you didn't understand by bacteriology well. Bacteriology is, is about studying bacteria, how these bacteria infect people, how they behave, how they reproduce, and their structure, so that they can know how to treat them. The reason as why they know that once you have typhoid, it is caused by salmonella typhi is because they know the structure of the salmonella. They know how it affects someone's body. Uh, they know how to treat it because They know how it behaves. They know the chemical compounds that make it up so they can easily generate a drug. And the reason as to why the vaccine for COVID, uh, this SARS-CoV uh, virus, is because they had already studied this coronavirus long time ago. If you go and buy, let's say, Dito, you find that on the, before even COVID, has started disorganizing the world. On their, on, on their bottle, they had already written that it can uh, kill corona. Long time ago, because corona has been around, but it's only that uh, we had not gotten that uh, those deadly, uh, we call them uh, strains. Okay, so they the scientists already knew the structure of the coronavirus, and that's why they were able, uh, they had already studied the virus, and that's why they were able to generate a vaccine very, very fast, okay? And yet it took them a lot of time to generate vaccines for the other, other uh, virus. So I hope uh, that is also uh, clear to you. Um, let me see. I think there are no more questions. Okay, uh, thank you for those questions. I think um, I, I can continue. Yes, I'm taking the last question from Eric. Yes, please, Eric, you have a question? Okay, okay. Okay, so we can continue. Um, and, um, okay, so I was still telling you, okay, can you please mute? Excuse me, uh, please mute, mute. Uh, wait. Yes, please. Please ask. Teacher, my screen, my screen is blank. Oh. Okay, uh, I think that... Teacher, I have a question. I'm going to sort you out very, very fast. Um, okay, so, and then we end this lesson. Uh, the last uh, uh, two branches which I want to talk about, one is entomology. Uh, for some of you, if you can hear the way I pronounce these words, I pronounce them in syllable, entomology, and then microbiology, you see? So you don't need to overstrain. Now with entomology, it's about studying insects. Now this branch, of course, there are millions of, of insects that have not been studied. Yes, please. Uh, you said if we eat grass, it can't broke, it can't, it can turn into feces, but what if we eat greenies? Okay. So um, when you eat 
when you actually when you eat grass, uh, you don't have enzymes that can be able to, to digest the cellulose in grass. Uh, likewise, uh, when you eat um, greens, you cannot digest the cellulose in greens. You get it. So they are actually going to act as fibers within um, your intestines, such that you don't, you don't during digestion. Is uh, when when food reaches the large intestines, uh, all the water that is in that food is extracted out. And if you don't have such such things like uh, greens or those fibers. Uh, the feces lose all the water entirely. They are extracted by the large intestine and you're going to get what we call constipation. You're going to pass out feces which are very hard. Sometimes they can harden that. It, it can even require you to go to the hospital to remove it. Okay. So, uh, and, and even the greens have some other chemical compounds which can be absorbed. For example, you can find there uh, like iron, iron in, in them. Now you need that iron. Uh, the body needs the iron during formation of the red blood cells, during formation of the red blood cells. So uh, apart from, from extracting the energy, like it has some other uses like preventing constipation as well as uh, getting iron, uh, which your body can use to make red blood cells in case you have a low red blood cell count. And if you have a uh, few red blood cells in you you, 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 you get a condition called anemia. You get a condition called anemia. I hope I've answered that. Um, I was still telling you that uh, this field of entomology is still virgin. There, you can study, for example, in Uganda, we normally have seasons of grasshoppers. So you, for you, you can come and you study only the grasshopper you see how it reproduces, you see how uh, it behaves, and then you can even begin rearing grasshoppers. If you can rear grasshoppers and then you begin selling them year in, year out. So this is still a very uh, 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 virgin, virgin area, entomology, studying about insects. You can study about mosquitoes, you can study about house flies, you can study about termites, uh, butterfly. you can study anything under entomology as long as it's an insect. Then uh, microbiology, with microbiology, we study about my organisms which you can see using your naked eye. And that's why you're here you're seeing the structure of, uh, of the microscope. These are lenses that enable you to see those bacteria which you cannot see using your naked eye. Okay, um, I would like to end here, unless you have any question. Uh, do you have any question before I end? Yeah. Yes. 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 I have. Yes, please ask. What is constipation? It becomes enzymes over just eating rough. Rough. How do roughages do it in the body? Hey. Okay. Constipation. I'm going to comment about constipation. Thank you for that question. Okay. Thank Excuse you for that question. Uh, and, I also have yes. A Excuse yes, one by one. Let me take Kabali's Kabali Emmanuel. Teacher, in ecology, ecology. Mm. They gave us ecology is the study of living. That's true, teacher. That's true. They they told you that ecology is the study of living. Okay, um, now ecology, actually, if you can find much about echo, it has to do with the environment. So uh, me, ecology teacher. is actually not, it's, that's not true. Okay. Excuse yes, please. me, teacher. I, I yes. would like to ask the other boy, is, uh, the other boy. Uh -huh. Can you please answer? They said that ecology is the study of living organisms. No, the study I said of ecology. Insects. Ecology is the study of living organisms, but it's the study of insects because there are many living organisms. They are not specified. Okay. Um, 
So what I said is the word is here. I hope you can be able to see it. The word is a ecology, not entomology. Ecology is different from entomology. Entomology is the one which is the study of insects. Ento, uh, more entomology, okay? So with ecology, eco just means environment. So ecology is the study of, of organisms and how they are related to the environment. So uh, what they told you that it is a study of living, that is, uh, that's not correct. And I think you, you must have read it poorly, maybe from your notes. But with ecology, you're studying the environment and how the organisms interact with it. Okay, um, I think uh, there Professor, are no more questions. Teacher, uh, I have a you. question. Okay, let's take one more question. Excuse me, teacher, we have a question. Yes, please ask. Yes, please. Which bacteria causes ulcers? Okay, okay, let me answer that last question. Uh, the other questions, you will answer them the next, in the next lesson. Now, let me take on that as the last question. Now, I told you that um, this, this bacteria, can you please mute, I answer this and we end the lesson. Uh, this bacteria, how does it cause ulcers? Le uh, let me just elaborate more a little bit. Now, the, uh, in your, in your um, stomach, you have cells that we call goblet cells. Now, those cells are in charge of producing yeah, not here, ringy. mucus. Not here, ringy. Okay. Those cells are, are in charge of producing mucus on the lining of your stomach. Now, when you've not yet eaten food, uh, enzymes are produced, enzymes like pepsin. Pepsin enzyme is the one which digests proteins in your stomach. So um, when you've not yet eaten and you have these bacteria, these bacteria come and attack goblet cells and kill them. Now these goblet cells, once they die, they can no longer produce mucus. Please don't play with the screen. They can no longer produce the mucus which shields the wall of your stomach from being digested by the enzyme that is produced by your stomach. Now, once these goblet cells kill the goblet cells, sorry, by, once the helicobacter kill the goblet cells, there is no more enough mucus to protect it. Now, when you feel like you're hungry, uh, enzymes are produced, or when you think about food, when you look at food, enzymes like pepsin is produced to to digest the proteins in the stomach. The moment you've not yet eaten, the enzymes instead be, begin digesting the wall of your stomach and you get wounds. And those wounds are the ones that we call ulcers. So that's how uh, the Helicobacter pylori get the, 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 the what? The ulcers. Okay, thank you very much. I think we can end the class Excuse here. Excuse me, teacher, and, I have uh, a question. I've Excuse liked your questions. Excuse me, teacher, I have yes, a I've question. Yes, I've not yet answered. Uh, please, yeah. because of time, because of time, write those questions. I will begin with those questions next in the next lesson. Okay, okay teacher. Excuse me, teacher, when is okay, the next uh, lesson? Okay. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, teacher.